Howdy 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 my beautiful Taurus, how are you doing darling? My name is Simply Valka and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading Taurus for May 2022, alright honey? So be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Taurus to get the full spectrum that's going on in your life and I also post a weekly pick a card tarot reading every single week on Sunday Taurus so be sure to check those out as well. So let's just jump right into this week for you Taurus, let's see what's good, what's popping with you honey, alright? In regards to the opportunities, the doors opening up for you Taurus, we have the King of Wands coming in pretty powerful i would say Taurus. in terms of this type of way like doors are going to be starting to open up for you Taurus, where you get garner a lot more attention people are going to be starting to look in to see what's going on with Taurus, right and be like "Ooh, what's Taurus up to today it's like people around you Taurus, are getting this idea like there's like something is building up inside of you Taurus, right and so I'm really excited to see that King of Wands. In regards to your social relationships, Taurus, I see the Three of Cups coming in here. Fabulous to be having, all right? Three of Cups, this is, this is the more platonic energy, all right? When it comes to relationships, right? When I speak about relationships, you know, this platonic, romantic, what have you. Three of Cups in this way, it's like a, a card of where coming together with friends. You know, this is a card of where um, celebrating something. It's just an overall happy time, Taurus. So I wouldn't be surprised if you are spending more time with your friends this week some of you guys as well if you've been trying to manifest more of your soul tribe coming in Taurus this is a very positive sign that uh, they're coming forward <clears throat> and then in the things to be looking out for the heads up is the queen of pentacles so overall with this type of way Taurus, this is like a message of keeping your peace all right keeping your peace whatever is thrown at you this week you still want to find peace with yourself you gotta you want to make sure that you're not being self-sacrificing Taurus. all right so let's just dive right into this Taurus. let's see where the energies is at so as i was saying i want to really start going into the king of wands for the doors that are opening up for you as well by the way the overall energy for this week is the world energy all right Taurus. so this is about uh closures the cycles to begin new ones okay so in regards to uh doors opening up for you king of wands all right taurus this is giving me very much so an energy of somebody who is starting to uh put the, putting themselves out there more perhaps on social media taurus all right i feel as if for those that are trying to gain more responsibility in their life that is definitely coming all right you have the lover's energy coming in here you're definitely garnering attention from some type of right energy here taurus in the nine to five dynamic here i wouldn't be surprised if your heart work is starting to be noticed by your peers all right you might be getting considered for like a promotion um Taurus as well due to this dynamic because the efforts that you're putting in as that king of wands it's like you'll notice in each of the artworks of it right with the king of wands this is who I see you as right now Taurus even though you're an earth sign and wands is fire energy there's this person in the back that's just like what's Taurus up to all right and so with this lover's energy coming in here y'all are garnering attention from good people honey good people <clears throat> eight of swords coming in here as well as the card that tried to fall out is the the five of wands it's this is i'm not gonna lie to her is now this is giving me like a dynamic where it's just like you're getting attention from a lot of different people here but also you're gaining attention from those who were wishing for your downfall darling taurus those who were praying for your downfall honey that's what i see going on here right because that five of wands is my least favorite card in the deck five of wands is the card of conflict and just nothing that feels too lovely right an eight of swords here and so this is giving me the sense of where it's just like people that you used to ride with right people that you used to rock with they see the doors opening up for you they see you getting a lot more attention Taurus and so due to whatever conflict that happened they're not able to take action towards saying anything to you towards pursuing you any and remember with this world energy as the overall for you this week here that cycle's closing off to begin new cycles you're beginning your new cycle Taurus in your life where you know your ancestors your spiritual team has your have has your back darling why can't i speak and so you're starting the next chapter in your life and whatever the case may be darling whether there is drama or not taurus i don't get this impression that you really manifested the drama anything or anything um people that you were leaving behind in this old pattern you know in your life are seeing are seeing you thrive and they're just kind of like in their feelings here uh taurus we'll get a card one card here just to get an overall impression death energy so this is very remorseful energy taurus this is where it's like they acknowledge that they can't pursue you um the people like you know they realize it's dead in the water right there's this lost chance lost hope 
in regards to actually having anything fixed so i don't feel as if you're going to be getting any type of message you might get like here or there for some of you tauruses where some people are in denial of this death energy but i feel like with the, for the most part most people realize that you're moving on and they can't get do anything to uh connect back with you all right and so very much so taurus i celebrate you honey come on now the best revenge is being successful honey okay um so now let's get into your social relationships this week taurus we have this three of cups coming in here with this world energy I feel like you guys just also considering the from that first spread Taurus I get this impression that you guys are going into like a fruit new friend dynamic all right. I feel like you guys are replacing uh, energies that were no longer serving you Taurus you're building out your team you're building out your team some of you guys that building out that team means your spiritual you're putting more of a focus on your spiritual connections right maybe you've been finding yourself connecting to your spiritual team more often but i feel like a lot of you tourists are just trying to build a core group of people around you that you can trust because yes you did go through a tower moment it seems when it comes to relationships I feel as if this year for you, Taurus, has been a lot of just seeing people's true colors and not you really taking action in regards to a Taurus, but you're seeing it for what it is and you're just like, mm, it sucks that that's even a thing. Let me just move on from it, right? And so, yeah, it's like this sense of where it's like after that tower moment, your priority shifted. Who you were investing into for the long term has shifted. And with that four of swords, so yeah this is interesting Taurus as I was saying like y'all are not my drama people Zodiac <laughs> y'all are not my drama Zodiac sign Taurus y'all are very you see things for what it is you're the last person to ever be arguing your perspective your feelings you're, you're just in this place that you know what if you don't want to this is how it is honey I ain't chasing whatever like you know you're moving on here and i feel like for you guys taurus this is the best decision you could be having i feel like your priority shifted because of past disappointments here what happened with that tower movement what caused this to happen seven of pentacles coming in here so this is like you were really trying to build something up with people in your life and did they, what, what was the problem though ten of wands you were taking up too much of the burden like you were taking on too many of the burdens the relationship turned out to be where it's just like you were taking all the baggage and then they were not doing anything about it here that's what I feel with this, Taurus. It's just like you realize that how one-sided things were feeling, where it's just like, wait a minute here. This is not a partnership. This isn't a team. Like, I'm the one put, putting in all this effort, all this weight here, and you're just doing whatever they're doing, right? And so I feel like for you guys, you, Taurus, are getting to this phase. You know, let's not speak in finality here, right? Some of you guys, you're going to be having a conversation with them. Be like, hey, this needs to be done with here. And whether that tower moment comes in where it's just like you all are no longer talking or the tower moment happens, because I do see with this four swords, it does represent healing. Some of you guys have a healing confrontation. But let's also just be real, Taurus. I'm not going to just pretend, paint this pretty scene of where she's like, oh, yeah, darling, you're like you confronting someone about their issues here, honey. Like that's going to go over. Well. Let's be real honey okay let's be real if you're gonna take my readings honey you're gonna take me completely transparent darling okay so um yeah i do just see some type of confrontation when it comes to some social dynamic and for some of you guys you replacing that energy with higher vibrational people okay um people that you can really commit to and some of you guys it's through that conversation you realize like how worthy of the hierophant energy that they are right I get this sense, I just really get the sense of like really appreciating those that are around you that you know you can trust. So then the heads up is this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, okay? This Queen of Pentacles here. So you need to make sure that you're not self-sacrificing, Taurus. You need to make sure that, you know, it's that phrase where it's just like the person taking off, like will pull, take off their shirt and put it on someone else's back. A very admirable trait, Taurus, but it needs balance, right? You can't just walk out every single day and strip your clothes and all your money every time you go out and see someone in need. All right, Taurus, and that's really hard for my people pleasers, especially my Tauruses, because I feel like Tauruses are the most unintentionally people pleasers because you all have like the most beautiful of hearts, Taurus and just like very wholesome all right i know tauruses don't usually vibe with me too often just because like y'all are usually the ones that are my least popular sign that view me but i really just love a taurus's energy just because it's like you know you can trust a taurus you know you can trust a taurus you know when you're on you're on a bad a taurus's bad side and you know we're on the good side right you don't have to find like you don't play those mental games but anyways let's get back to this reading here enough of gassing y'all up 
I feel like Taurus, this is like, yeah, uh, the full energy in the back of the deck here. This is like a new dawn, a new age for you, Taurus, all right, where it's like you're still kind, but you're in, on this journey of practicing balance in your life where it's like you're still a helpful person. You're still giving your heart, giving your love to people, being as helpful as you can to the people that you care about. But you're not your story right now, Taurus, is teaching you when to have that balance be like all right i don't need to empty out my bank account all right and that's gonna be a big challenge for you taurus all right and so how spirit will present lessons is like they will put you to the test and so you'll constantly be dealing with people that you would usually usually be very um giving towards right selfless towards right yeah seven of wands you're gonna be having so many different opportunities where it's like you could easily give off um give everything off of your back to that person high priestess energy knight of wands yeah just make sure this week Taurus, that something nothing disturbs your peace and nothing takes away from you you're not being selfish by putting yourself first i'm gonna say it again Taurus. you're not being selfish by putting yourself first just because you need to protect your peace you need to make sure that you you are good like that doesn't make you a bad person because someone has to make sure that taurus is okay right someone has to make sure taurus is okay and so it's like if no one else is do, doing that you got to make sure that you're doing it first because when good people are doing good all that's going to happen is those good people help other people do good as well all right when good people do good in the world all that's going to happen is those good people do more good in the world all right so you being selfish does not make you a bad person Taurus. remember that all right darling so this is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you Taurus, for may 2022 hopefully you found this reading helpful darling be sure to check out my weekly pick a card readings your sun moon rising and venus sign Taurus. okay as well as be sure if you want to book a private reading with me Taurus. my website's linked down below simply velka dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both being simply velka same as here honey and i'll be connecting with you taurus sometime in the near future hopefully i love you so much darling bye